Liberal Viewer presents. So on the subject of Kim Davis, the renegade county clerk from Kentucky who refuses to issue marriage licenses, and over on uh, the Kelly file on Fox News, Megan Kelly was really adamant that there was a Title VII anti-discrimination issue, and she quoted this uh, First Amendment scholar, Professor Eugene Volokh, who I've actually had some interactions with online, and I, I think he actually is a a fairly good First Amendment scholar for someone who's a conservative libertarian. But here's Megan Kelly over on The Kelly File earlier this week misquoting Professor Eugene Volokh to say that Title VII protects this clerk, Kim Davis, from having to issue marriage licenses, which I will totally debunk after you watch that clip over here. Richard Eugene Volokh, who is one of the most respected First Amendment scholars in the country, came out today and said, if Muslim truck drivers can get an accommodation that allows them to refuse to transport alcohol, as the Obama administration is arguing they must have, then Kim Davis gets an accommodation when it comes to issuing marriage licenses. What say you? I disagree with that, and here's why. The Muslim truck driver is a private entity, and under the law, they would have some sort of, they would have religious exemption, All but right, let me just stop you Kim there. Let me, let me just stop you there, because let's just clear that up. The law actually is very clear. This I refer you to Title VII of the Civil Rights Act. Under Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, both public and private employers have a duty to exempt religious employees from generally applicable work rules so long as it won't create an undue hardship. It applies to public and private employers. Go ahead. But the, here's the thing. <laughs> now, the guy she's talking to there is a radio talk show host, Richard Fowler. So, of course, he can't respond to that. You know, very authoritative. You know, Megyn Kelly's a lawyer, so she says so authoritatively. Title Seven of the Civil Rights Act says that both public and private employers have to accommodate their employees. But what she doesn't quote from Eugene Volokh's column and what anyone who knows anything about Title VII should know is uh, here. I've quoted this from Eugene Volokh's column and I, you can, there's a link down in the video description to the entire column, but he says, first, a technical but important legal point, Title VII expressly excludes elected officials. Now, then Eugene Volokh goes on to make this argument that he thinks it's likely that the clerk uh, would prevail if she uses this Kentucky Religious Freedom Restoration Act, which is like one of those like freedom to discriminate laws that they've been passing in some states. The thing is, those laws have been uh, not really very tested, especially at the state level. That being as it may or whatever, the Title VII of the Civil Rights Act definitely does not protect the Kentucky clerk Kim Davis despite that really adamant claim from Megan Kelly over on the Kelly file earlier this week so you can let me know what you think down in the comment section uh, whether uh, Megan Kelly owes her viewers a retraction I, I don't think she would give one I YouTube you decide